All right. Move that up a little bit more, just a little bit. All right. What's going on, Raider Nation? What's going on, Raider fans? Raider gang? Everything Raiders? What's going on, everybody? You know, so it's Friday. Got out of college at like twelve o'clock. Uh, you no. Know, uh, come here uh, to uh, drive over to uh, Taco Bell. That's what I was thinking about. Drove over to Taco Bell. Had me some Doritos Locos tacos. Came home. Nobody's at the house, so I'm chilling. So today's just a good Friday and everything. You know, get out of school early a little bit. Uh, got me some Doritos Locos tacos, which I tore them motherfuckers up. And I, uh, you know, my parents aren't here, and they won't be here to uh, late tonight. So I'm at, I'm having a good day today. And thought, you know, why don't I do a Raider video? Because, you know, y'all the best fans in the world. Raider fans, I think, in my opinion, are the best fans in the world. I don't think no one comes close to it when it comes down to just fan bases and all that. But uh, I want to talk about a certain subject, which it makes no sense to me. So I'm a, I was on Facebook, right? And uh, I was on this page that I, I, I like to, uh, it's called the black hole Raider fans. If you got a Facebook and you want, and you're a huge Raider fan and stuff, go on Facebook, look up the black hole. You'll see a whole bunch of Raiders in the back in the picture, like their page. They talk Raiders and all that shit. So if you are a Raider fan, go like that page on Facebook. If you got one, but anyway, I'm getting off topic. And, uh, I was looking on, uh, the black holes of uh, Facebook page. And uh, they was really uh, talking about, because uh, they have a little, they, they just talk about, get things from articles and everything. And it said, is Marcel Reese a forgotten fullback? And this is what I want to talk about. This is, this is why I made this video today. This is what I want to talk about, because it makes no fucking sense to me. Another reason why I don't like Greg Olson. I don't like Greg Olson for a number of reasons. But the number one thing I'm mad at is that, if you recall during the, uh, our bye week, our bye week, uh, during our bye week, Greg Olson uh, said during the bye week while we were getting ready and everything, he was like, I got to use Marcel Reese more. I got to, you know, open up the playbook and use Marcel Reese. And I don't know if y'all Raider fans saw the game beginning to end with the, uh, the, uh, the Raiders and the Steelers game. He did not use Marcel Reese that fucking much. He ran the ball with Marcel Reese two fucking times. Two times. That's it. Oh, man. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end up fucking yelling again. I, it makes me mad because Marcel Reese could be the greatest fullback to ever play in the National Football League. And it pisses me off every day that we don't use this motherfucker and just little situations you're talking about a fullback that can block run the ball and fucking catch passes deep fucking passes used to be a receiver and you're telling me y'all can't fucking use this motherfucker oh my goodness that really pisses me off it really does Marcel Reese is a once in a generation. There probably will never be another fullback like Marcel Reese. And we have him. And we don't we don't use him in a fucking playbook. It just it pisses me off, man. It really, it really pisses me off that Marcel Reese isn't in that category. And you know, when you talk about the Raiders, people want to talk about Terrell Pryor, Darren McFadden, uh, Charles Woodson, Lamar Houston, but nobody wants to talk about Marcel Reese, and I feel like he's in that talk. I know for a fact, if Marcel Reese was like, uh, let's say Marcel Reese wasn't on the Raiders. Let's say he was over well, uh, on the Patriots. Bill Belichick is the best coach I've, I've witnessed. I'm saying that I've witnessed because, I, I, like I said, I haven't been along. Alive a long time. I've only been alive 18 years. He, Bill Belichick would use this motherfucker to his advantage. He'd be like, Tom Brady, all right, you got fucking Gronk. You got fucking uh, uh, Ridley. You got these receivers, these young receivers you could build on. And you got Marcel Reese. You could just dop on. And it would have been havoc. Why don't the Raiders use Marcel Reese? This dude could be great on our team. 
All right, he's going to block for us. All right, we already know he could do that. He's a fullback. Do some fake run plays, I, I'm guessing. In the pistol offense, when they use Darren McFadden or something. Why don't they use Marcel Reese? That nigga could go up the middle. Marcel Reese is a hard fucking runner. People don't expect it when he fucking runs. Or when we're in the fucking red zone and we can't run it inside or we can't pass it. Why don't we ever just hand it off to Marcel Reese? Get it in for the touchdown. I was mad that we didn't do that on the Giants game. When we were at the one yard line. I was like, why don't we give it to Marcel Reese? But anyway, I'm not going to talk about the Giants game. I already got too pissed off about the Giants game. But it just bothers me. Marcel Reese could be great. Hall of Fame great. Once in a generation great and we don't use him. That is like having a fucking... That's like having a Ferrari in a garage and you just got a, a bullshit... Uh, 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 what's the bullshit? And you got a Prius. And that's like saying, oh, we got to use this Prius more. And you drive it just two times and you let it chill in the garage. Because that's what we're doing to Marcel Reese. We're just letting this nigga sit on the sidelines. Just blocking, 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 blocking. Uh, a run or two and that's it. I know Marcel Reese is pissed off. This dude is dynamic. Uh, Terrell Pryor, he's struggling. And we all know in uh in this lead, uh the tight end is like uh is a, like a security blanket or like uh uh you know easy target to pass to. Why not put Marcel Reese in? Let him be a fullback or a tight end or a wide receiver and put him in more plays so Terrell Pryor goes all right at least. If I can't hit the nearest more, if I can't hit Rod Streeter, if I can't hit these tight ends, I'm going to go to Marcel Reese. I mean, dang, why don't we do screen passes with Marcel Reese? Like I said, we have a great talent on our fucking team, and we're not taking advantage of it. We signed him to a three-year deal. And so far, his first year, I mean, uh, that, that year he signed to has just been a waste. All he does... All he, he's told to do is block. You know, run it probably one or two times during the game, and that is it. This dude is, oh, man. Tell me a, tell me a fullback that runs, blocks, and catches. Don't worry, I'll wait. You give up? Because, yeah, I do. Name a fullback in the last 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years that could do what Marcel Reese does. And the Raiders just don't give a fuck. It's like they look at Marcel Reese and go like, we don't need him. With this struggling ass offense and offensive line and receivers and quarterback controversy and running back controversy. Yes, use this motherfucker. Use this goddamn nigga. Nigga is just sitting on the sidelines. I know in his head, he's like, I'm better than this. I could go out and catch passes. I can fucking block. I can run occasionally. Like, I know that nigga is pissed off. I know he's just looking at fucking Greg Olson and go like, nigga. 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 Did you forget I was on your damn team? Did you forget I was on the offense? Did you think I was injured? Oh, man. That is just, it, that pisses me the fuck off, Raider fans. I don't know about y'all, but it pisses, it makes my piss come to a boil. When that nigga was with Hugh Jackson, I think he had the most catches and uh, as a fullback in the NFL. I think he had 30, 40, I don't, I don't know the stats. I know it was around 30, 40 catches with those two years with Hugh Jackson. Some touchdowns with Hugh Jackson. Even Greg Knapp. I hate fucking Greg Knapp. At least he used fucking Marcel Reese at times. But Greg Olson just sits there and just, like I said, I don't think he knows he has, I don't think he knows he has Marcel Reese on his team. I seriously think he just looks at Terrell Pryor and Darren McFadden and Denarius Moore, Rashard Jennings and Rod Streeter. And I think he just goes like, all right, this is all we're going to do. Forgetting Marcel Reese is out there. You even told us, and this is another reason why I don't like it. He looked us, 
Well, he didn't look us in the face, but he told reporters, I'm going to use Marcel Reese more. I haven't seen this motherfucker more. I haven't seen him more. I've seen him less. Oh, man. Great fucking talent. Great fucking talent on our team. And we don't use them. We don't use it to our advantage. We don't. We, oh, man. I'm telling you, man. Number 45. I'm telling you. That could be a Hall of Famer one day with the right coaching. Not today's coaching. I'm saying if Raiders had like Hugh Jackson for years, Marcel Reese would be, oh man, that'd just be another category of fucking fullback. That he I did like I said, all I could do is imagine in my head how Marcel Reese could be great and him catching and running and and and, and fucking uh blocking. I just I can only imagine in my head because in reality, Greg Olson ain't gonna do shit with this motherfucker. Look at the team like uh, uh the Patriots. They changed the game. Why? Uh, because they had well they don't have them anymore. They had Gronkowski at tight end and Aaron Hernandez at tight end before the nigga got locked up. But I'm not gonna get into that. Teams were wondering how did they stop this because he would go to these two tight ends all the time. He would just put these two right here, and it was like, which one do you want to pick? You want to stop Gron uh, Gronkowski? Okay, I'll throw to Aaron Hernandez. You want to stop Aaron Hernandez? All right, I'll throw it to Gronkowski. They changed the game at the tight end position. The Raiders could fucking change the game at fucking fullback. People are defenses would fear Marcel Reese. People will be looking like, how the fuck are we gonna stop him? All right, we can stop him blocking, but can we stop his stop his running and, and catching? All right, we're gonna stop his catching, but can we stop his running and blocking? I mean, it's endless. Teams will probably go out and try to draft fullbacks that could catch, run, and block. They'd probably be looking like we can't get a, a traditional tight end anymore. We gotta get the, I mean, uh, fullbacks. We gotta get. A Marcel Reese type fullback. And like I said, it just pisses me off every day. I can only imagine in my head about how great this motherfucker could be. Man. I'm telling you, if Marcel Reese had the right coaching, an offensive coordinator that was solid, he'd be a fucking game changer. Fullbacks, I mean, I think people would start trying to draft or look for running backs that could do all three of those things. I think teams will have to look and go like, fuck, we can't get a regular fullback. We need to get us a, a Marcel Reese type fullback and everything. And we don't use this motherfucker. Oh, man, that is that. That pisses me off more than anything that we have this motherfucker on our team. The offense is struggling. People are debating Rashard Jennings or Darren McFadden should start at running back because of that controversy. Uh, I think uh, uh, I don't think uh, Terrell Pryor is going to play Sunday. So Matt McGloin, I mean, those two are going at it. Receiver wise, fucking who's going to be the number one receiver? Rod Streeter or Denarius Moore? That's being controversy at tight end. Rivera. Uh, Hanson, uh, 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 who's that other motherfucker? Mustard or whatever. They're debating about it. Uh, the offensive line, we're debating about where should we put motherfuckers and everything. But fullback, we're set at fullback, man. We set at fucking fullback. I'm telling you, if the run game is struggling, use Marcel Reese. The motherfucker can run the ball. Like a, a power back. If Terrell Pryor or Matt McGloin or whoever is going to start Sunday is struggling with their fucking passes, line up Marcel Reese right on the fucking line of scrimmage. Put him at tight end, wide receiver. Put him in the backfield. Let him do screen plays. Let him do whatever to help out. But, ugh, man, I just, I don't know. I, like I said, Greg, Greg Olson, you lost your job. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Raider fans can tell me, 
uh, give them a chance to say, you lost my fucking respects and you lost my job. Not only because this offense is bad and our second half is horrible, but just that you have a talent on your team that doesn't come around very often and you don't use this motherfucker. Fuck you, Greg Olson. Fuck you, my nigga. Oh, man. All right, I'm, this video is like 15 minutes now. I'm going to cut this shit short now. All right. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, Raiders underscore 1995. Please tell me in the comments what y'all think about Marcel Reese. Is he a bust? Is he a great fullback like I'm telling you? Or, or just give me any of your opinions on Marcel Reese in the comments. I promise you, I read all the comments. So please comment in there, all right? All right, peace. I'm out. Raider Nation, you already know what's up, and I'm gone.